This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which you do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Band Saturdays. What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, I'm a pop up. Go on, get. He could warn Doucette. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Running low. Can you send supplies to Del Rey Hollow? Going at you. Hang tight. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. You?
bad sense about this, ma'am. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. Cause if he don't, we are fucked like yo mama on prom night. For sure, ma'am, for sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right, then. Watch your ass down there. That's gotta be found. <laughs> Sounds come from one of them goddamn voodoo dolls. Creepy ass shit. That's the sound of hell right there, boy. Stay clear of it. off that many niggas and not expect some kind of response. Huh? You better not be fucking with me. Huh? Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. We're sure happy to have you not with us today. With me. So put your troubles aside and... Enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty old baron's got waiting for you round the corner. will not prevent it. The Lord brought us here. But
That don't sound good. Quit clowning! I'll go get him. around here somewhere.
ladies and gents. Got you now, asshole. Ah, hit the air!
need to run this through, boy. You think you can come in here and steal my heroin without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please, please. Listen, listen, just decent thing it'd be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.